Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you the new experience for creating flows in Power Automate. You can build a flow from a template. Simply pick a connector and it will list out a wide variety of templates to choose from. Or build your own flow through a guided step-by-step -step experience. Or describe your flow in words and let AI build it for you. This will also include an AI-based co-pilot that will work with you to help you create your flow. So let's check it out in action. The Power Automate homepage now has a refreshed look. And the banner, we have a new option to create a flow. I'll click on the create button. And this leads us to a couple of options to choose from. Either we can create a flow from a template or we can build our own flow. Let's start with a template. Here, we can search for templates by selecting a specific connector. For example, I'll pick Office 365 Outlook and Power Automate will recommend templates that have the Outlook connector leveraged. I can clear the filter that allows me to make a selection for any other connector. If I go to more filters, I can once again select connectors to filter the templates. I can search for specific connectors, OneNote, or I can go to see more connectors. This will keep loading the entire connector suite. So currently I have OneDrive for Business selected. I can further filter the templates based upon the category. So show me the most popular ones or show me ones that are based on approval. I can even filter based on the publisher, whether these templates are made available by Microsoft or this is through the community. I also have the ability to search for templates based on specific keywords. I entered save attachments. So it showcases all the templates to save attachments and has the connector OneDrive. To save email attachments to a specific folder in my OneDrive, select the template. It will sign in to the connections that the flow leverages. In this scenario, OneDrive and Outlook. I can give my flow a name. I'll click next. And this will take me straight to the flow designer experience. And the flow is built out based upon the template that I had selected. I can modify the template. So I've moved this action on top. I'll delete the condition. So when a new email comes in my inbox that has attachments, go ahead and upload it into a folder in my OneDrive called Documents. I'll save my flow. The flow is saved. Sarah sends me an email that has attachments. My flow has triggered. And if I head over to my OneDrive in my folder called Documents, here are those two attachments from the email. Back to the home screen. I'll click Create. And this time, let's try build our own flow. Step-by-step -step guidance is provided. Step one is to choose a trigger for our flow. Clearly highlights what a trigger is. From a citizen developer experience, this is a great walkthrough process for building the components of a flow. Trigger is the event that starts the flow. Once again, I have the connectors right here that I can pick from. I can pick built-in connectors, connectors with the standard license realm, premium connectors. I can even search for connectors. In this scenario, I'll pick the manually triggered flow. I'll click next. Then comes step two, which is to choose an action that you would like to execute. When my flow is triggered, 
I would like to send an email. I can pick from the connectors to define which actions are available within those connectors. I simply have to select a connector and it will highlight all the actions. Pick the send an email action and click next. And this takes me directly to the flow designer experience. The flow triggers manually. I have the action to send an email. Of course, I can add more actions in the flow by selecting connectors and defining additional actions. I'll add an input to the trigger action. This will be the email body. And for the email action from dynamic content, I will pick email body. I've given my flow a name. I'll click save. My flow has saved. It's a manually triggered flow. So I'll click run. This will sign in to the connection for Outlook. My email body. I'll plug in the text. Run the flow. The flow has triggered. And here is the email that I have received. If you head over to create, which has the same two options here, one additional way to create your flow is through AI. So I'll make the selection. We simply need to describe our flow in words. I'll say post Microsoft Forms response to an email and AI will suggest a flow for me. I'll click next. Step two is to ensure my connections are in play. In this case, it's Microsoft Forms and Outlook. I'll click next. I can even go ahead and configure the trigger and actions right here in the final step. I have a product feedback survey form. For getting the response, I'll pick the same form and I would like to send an email to myself. I've plugged in the subject. To get dynamic content, I need to go to the flow. So I'll go ahead and create my flow. The form in question is a simple product feedback survey form where the user can enter their name, email, rate the product. My flow has been created, triggers when a new response is submitted in that form. Next step is to get the response details. And finally, the step to send the email. Right here, I can start providing the details of the response by leveraging dynamic content. The name of the person filling the form, email, overall product rating, and recommendation likelihood. I'll click save. My flow has saved and listening to any new response that is submitted in the product feedback survey form. I've provided the name, email, the rating, recommendation, submitted my response. The moment the response comes in, the flow has triggered. And here is the email that I have received. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.